Hello, my name is Mushir Hussain. Today I am going to talk about Charles Spearman's theory of intelligence. Charles Spearman was a British psychologist. He studied engineering in college and worked as an engineer in Burma in 1880s. In his early 30s Spearman decided to leave the military to become an experimental psychologist. Spearman was known as an early founder of the psychological testing movement. By observing and measuring intelligence in a systematic way, Spearman believed, researchers would be able to define all the variables that influenced the differing levels and types of intellectual ability people have. More importantly, research would discover how these variables fit together. He developed his two-factor theory of intelligence using factor analysis technique. He suggested that intelligence is general and specific cognitive ability that can be measured and numerically expressed. As a conclusion of various tests, he said that people who performed well on one cognitive test tended to perform well on other tests as well. Experimental Evidence Spearman originally suggested the term general intelligence, as he called it, G factor to measure intelligence in his two theory on intelligence. Spearman first researched in an experiment with 24 children from a small village school measuring three intellectual measures, based on teachers' rankings, to address intellectual and sensory as the two different sets of measure, school cleverness, common sense A and common sense B. Spearman proposed that intellectual and sensory measures can be combined as assessment of general intelligence. Charles Spearman developed his two-factor theory of intelligence using factor analysis. His research not only led him to develop the concept of the G-factor of general intelligence, but also the S-factor of specific intellectual abilities. First the general abilities G-factor. This intelligence is a set of related skills, influences the performance on all mental tasks. Individuals have more or less general intelligence. It varies from person to person on a task. It is a universal inborn ability. It is constant and used in every activity of life. Second, the specific abilities, S factor. The another component, S, intellectual abilities on particular or specific task. Spearman hypothesized that this other component, was specific to a certain aspect of intelligence and he named this second factor as S, for specific ability. It is learned and acquired in the social environment. It also varies from activity to activity for same person. Individual differs in S factor quotient. For example, if a cricketer talks about sports techniques and gives suggestions, then it is his general abilities, G factor and on the other hand he is number one ranked batsman or bowler, then this is his specific intelligence, S factor. Each specific ability shares the G factor. Individuals differ in theory amount of G factor and relative strength of abilities. Spearman noted that while every individual excelled in certain areas, it wasn't impossible for them to excel in other areas too. In fact, it was more common for an individual who specialized in certain areas to do well in other related areas. For instance, a person who excelled on verbal tests is highly likely to do well on other tests too. This can also be related with athletes. There is no guarantee that a good footballer should be equally good in snowboarding. However, a good footballer is fit and athletic, so he would have higher chances of performing physical tasks better than the individuals who are not as coordinated physically. Intelligence Testing in Modern Psychology Spearman's theory of intelligence is being used by various researchers in their current studies and they are appending some modern concept to the study. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that you took the time and listened to my presentation.